Reds and Giants. Deion Sanders, he can play football now. More on that later. 3-3 game. Chris Stein, the grounder off Bill Miller, but makes the great throw to first to get the out. Bottom of five, now 4-3 Giants. Damon Berryhill, chopper. The Brett Boone, my bad. Jeff Kent scores on the air. It's 5-3 Giants. Boone now at bat in the sixth. Will someone mess up with the glove against him? No, the pop fly and Daryl Hamilton's coming. He made the nice catch. Now bottom of the seventh, still 5-3 Giants. Miller's on third. Wilson Alvarez, he's a pitcher. He's a hitter. That counts as a hit. First major league hit. Miller scores 6-3 Giants. They win it by a count of 7-3. Alvarez oh, takes that ball deep and back. And with Nixon have got it, Wayne Kirby didn't. Mark Grace come to score. And it's 1-0 the Cubs. And I said score. And then score, didn't I? It's a triple. Bottom of five. Dodgers base is loaded. Hideo Nomo. He cranks that thing through. Singles left. Todd Zeal's come to score. Doug Glanville. Guns down Greg Gagne at the plate. Did not run on Doug Glanville. Game tied at one apiece. Next batter, Brett Butler. Shot to short. Look at the play by Sean Dunstan. Diving, making the play. Flips the third. Gets the force. Next batter, Mark Clark against Wayne Kirby. He missed. Cubs getting hungry. Jose Hernandez, quadrangular! Home run, fifth of the season, off Nomo, gone, 3-1 Cubs. Bottom of seven, reliever Mark Pachata. You got Piazza, ground out, and that'll do it. Dodgers three for 12 with men in scoring position, and the Cubs go on to win by a count of four to two. That's a fastball up, and Dean took it out. Game tied at 3, 17th of the year. Yanks up 4 3, second and third, one down. Luis Soho to Jeff King. Look at King step on first, and then we get a run down. Well, the Yankees run themselves out of the inning right here, but great job on defense to, to keep the run down alive. Jay Bell knowing what to do, keeping the ball in the throwing hand. The whole time, run them back, fly to tag. Mark Whitten, done. More offense for the Royals. Gore, Dean Palmer. Bip Roberts, Jay Bell, Whiteward. Royals up 5-4. Dean Palmer, four RBI on the night. George Steinbrenner, talking about trials here. They wanted to get Dean Palmer in the Yankee uniform. Witten, 6-3 double play. Yankees lose. Final score here, 6-4 in the game. They cannot bear to watch. Again, Hideki Arabu will pitch Wednesday. Ernie, bottom of the first, O's up one zip. Rafi with two on, two off. 24th home run of the year. It's 4 0 O's. Meanwhile, Scott Erickson, Tilson, Breit. I think we're about to see a breaking ball. He breaks him off something. Bottom of the six, O's up seven zip. Jeff Revelle. He steals second in a 7 0 game. Well, there's certain games, a 7 0 game you run in. This was not the night because they were wearing the A's out. So what happens? They throw behind Revelle. This is, this is a Revelle without a cause. Well, he sent a little message and let him know that's not right. It's not the right situation. Actually, he got what he deserved. Both benches empty. Revelle, he did. He got tossed. Matty scares Brady Anderson. Checking each other out. What do you think about my beard? Erickson gets Dave Magadan here to ground out. Complete game for Scott Erickson. And following the game, the Orioles scoreboard signs off. As Rex Barney did with the thank you. Public address announcer passes away. Field replacing the traded Otis Nixon. And look at JB. Krakatoa. Two run shot off Shane Bauer, second of the year. Jays are up 3 1. Next inning, Charlie O'Brien's on second. It's Brumfield again. Wally Pipney. 6 1 Jays. RBI number three on the night for Brumfield as he scores O'Brien. Two batters later, Jose Cruz Jr. You do this one. Right? Oh, my. Used to hear that from Dave Niehaus. This ball is driven out of the ballpark. Switch hitting. He doesn't hit many from the right side. It's the first one I've seen in Toronto uniform. 8 1 Jays. I think Mr. Clemens has enough support. He gets Scott Stehoviak swinging. His 2800th career K. I saw Young for 13th in the all time list. Cito says, I'll take that ball. I'll take that ball. I'll take Clemens in the eighth. I'll take him in the ninth. 11th K on the night. I'll take him any time I can get him. 2 2. Two out. Rich Becker. 13th K. Complete game. Rock. 108 complete. And Nagel. Stumbling, bumbling, rumbling. Can't make the play to get out of the inning. Scoreless streak is safe, intact. The baseball is not. Top four, though, still scoreless. It's the journeyman, Eddie Williams. One-nothing box. The streak's over. Nagel, bitter baseball face.
Bottom seven, title one, Esteban Loaiza, Michael Tucker deep to left. Al Martin, can he get up? Watch where the ball goes, underneath the arm. Lofton scores in the double. For the Braves, the first extra base hit in 27 innings. They're up two to one. Top nine, Wolvers gave up a single, two walks. They're loaded, and Turner Ward turns on one. Nearly takes off Wolvers' cap. Kendall, Brown, both score. Bucks up three to two. They'd add another one. They'd add a couple more. They'd go on and win 5-2 for the Braves. This was their first loss. The Braves got beaten badly after their series with Florida with the same happened to the Marlins. Fiji on her right. Sheffield, no. He's going to throw to second, and who's there? No one. Chucky Carr. He's got it in overdrive. Five one strokes give the error to the right fielder Sheffield. Next batter, Derek Bell. To the gap in right center. Mike Hampton, the pitcher, on. He's in. Biggio's going to try to score easily. Bell to third, triple. The three Bs have been playing great for the Astros. That's one of the reasons they're rolling. Bagwell, Biggio, and this man here, Bell. Second, same score, bottom six. Carr taking Stanford to right, and guess what? Chucky Carr doesn't have to sprint this time. 8-1 on the second homer of the year, third feet of the game. Mike Hampton wins the seventh straight decision. Now in St. Louis, Delano to Shields. Deep to right field. Watch Butch Husky vertical. Cards up 2-1, bottom four. McGuire's at the plate, and he got it. But he didn't get enough. Yes, he did! To left and out. 3-1 cards. Looked like it would be a routine pop fly. Not when Mr. Muscle swings. Well, he gets all through the ball. Great extension right there. We're looking at his eyes. See those things light up? All right, it's raining on Mark's parade. No, it ain't. Double into the gap. 5-1 cards. It scores Brian Jordan and Ray Lankford. Now in the ninth, 5-2 Cardinals. The newly acquired net. B-back, Brian McCray. Royce Clayton. Tough play, but he's there. Ozzy says, yep. Got him every time. McGuire breaks out of a three for 30. The always intense Phillips ignored all questions as he walked into the clubhouse Tuesday, but he did point a finger at an LA Times reporter and he began lecturing the guy about calling him at home on the telephone. Phillips and his 279 average not playing. Bottom two, no score. Jason Dixon facing Albert Bell. Dixon hangs a curve. Bell rocks his world. Solo shot. Albert's 22nd of the year, ending a 21-game homerless streak. One zip tie socks. Jamie Navarro, perfect through three. Wonder why. Orlando Palmero grounds to third. Robin Ventura, see, that's why the brothers got four gold gloves. Top six, Angels breakthrough. Navarro facing Garrett Anderson. Anderson doubles over Bell's head and left. Hollins and Tim Salmon come in to score. Garrett, a 307 hitter, had two doubles in the game, 2-1 Halos. Bottom six, Sox rally. Sacks Jack for Mario Valdez. Yep, 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 yep. To center over Palmero's head. All three runs come in to score. Valdez also had two doubles in the game, 4-2 White Sox. Bottom seven, 5-4 Sox. Speaking of doing something twice in a game, Albert Bell. Jam. Oh, jam. Two-run shot to left. 23rd of the year. 26th career multi-homer game. 13th multi-homer game since 95, but only the first multi-homer game this year. Fessing Mike Matheny, the number nine hitter. Oh, my good. No, he didn't, Kenny. For real, though. No. Fourth homer of the year for Matheny, three zip Brewers. Top third runner on second, two outs. Jack Voigt grounds to Russ Davis at third to throw. Oh, bad throw. Jose Valentin scores. Davis is 18th error this year. Bottom six, Steve Woodard facing Ken Griffey Jr. 4 1 Brewers, two outs. Junior. Can I get a witness from the congregation? All right. Big witness. Yeah. 37th homer of the year, 7th in 17 games. Ties him with Roger Maris, all-time 275 of the year. Next time up, Griffey gets walked to load the bases. After a force out at home, Jay Buhner, 27 homers this year, 3-2 pitch. Nothing, nada. Bob Wickman gets his 22nd save of the year. Brewers win the game 5-3. Woodard avenges in August 2nd. And Jim Tomey in first. Dave Justice representing down the line. DJ three for three on the night, hitting 328. Indians jump out to an early two zip lead. The game delayed two hours and two minutes after the third, with Cleveland up 3 2. Bottom four, AJ Sager replaces Kegel with first pitch. Peace. Tony Fernandez. Get out of town, and I mean it. Fernandez is seventh homer of the year. He's got 34 RBI, try 4 2 lead. Same inning, Manny Ramirez with one on. He takes Sager deep to center for his 18th jack of the year. Indians take a 6 2 lead. A little defense from the Indians in the sixth, please. Raul Casanova lines one to center. Brian Giles says, I ain't stuck on Casanova. Giles also a two for five night. Buddy Bell wishes the rain had never stopped.
Indians win it seven. Cheering for the Red Sox. Not going to do it. No way. Top three, four zip Rangers. Lee Stevens up the middle off Aaron Seeley. Gonzalez scores. Will Clark scores. Stevens was all in that three for five. Jimmy Williams. Read my lips. I've seen enough of Aaron Seeley. Jonathan Wazden on first batter. Fernando Tatis. Tatis tattoos it. Nails the Wazden offering high and deep to left. Off the monster. Pudge Rodriguez and Stevens come around. Tatis a fat four for five night. Eight zip Rangers. They scored one more in the inning. They go on to win it 12 2. Why? Because we have videotape machines. Well, also because uh, the other pictures weren't that great. So we're going to show one good play twice. Good play by Caminiti. Now tied at four, bottom of the seventh. Two on, two out. What's wrong with the field? What's wrong with the bounce? FP Santangelo couldn't get it. Caminiti scoring. Joiner scoring. Padres go on to win 6 4. No more tie, boys. That's all we had. It's fans. Padre. Couple of helmets and a baseball bat. Phillies and Rockies. Matt Beach. Winless. Walker, strike three. Beach, Cade, six. Perfect through four and a third. Dante goes down and gets one. The perfect game is now history. In the fifth, Rockies load him up. Beach against Quinton McCracken. And is it a here we go again situation? I don't think so. Matt Beach locked in. McCracken to second. Morandini. Bingo, bango, bongo. Let's hear it from Matt Beach. Gave Jamie Navarro a nice round of applause. I think we should hear it from Matt Beach. First win this season. Congratulations, Matty.